All right, welcome back to yet another 70 star league race between Blue Bob and Cheese, both players at the very top of the division. And I am here now with Electric. And what is up? Nothing much, just ready to see two awesome Mario runners go at it. Both of these guys, top level runners, Blue Bob, a 48 PB, and has shown to be really nice and consistent with a lot of sub 50 runs in these tournament races. But Cheese, of course, the legend, 47s as his pbs but also 48s in races i mean both these guys are capable of awesome times and it's it's just going to be a matter of who's playing better today honestly yeah she's obviously coming hot off of one of the most impressive speedrunning performances we've ever seen live breaking the record of course and now he's just kind of chilling and eating hopefully you know not feeling too much pressure from this but currently they are both three and oh which leaves us to be one of the matches that will decide if Cheese or Blue Bob will remain undefeated in match Punke for week four. So that'll be pretty interesting to see. And you still would have to give Cheese the edge. But like Blue Bob has just always been such like a consistent player and just like his veteran mindset as well it means he's not going to get flustered. He just relaxes and just plays the game. He's really good at it. So I don't have any certainty about how this is going to end up. Yeah, being able to relax against an opponent like Cheese is very vitally important. And interestingly, both players actually using the Japanese version. Um, I wonder if maybe they're just used to the text scrolling because of 120, or if they just mutually decided that, I don't know, one of them might not have a working English card at the moment or something. Who, who knows? Yeah, that's true. I don't know if Blue Bob even uh, has a US card, but I'm pretty sure that Cheese at least does. So I'm kind of confused why he doesn't want to use it. No, Blue Bob's PV was on an English card, so Yahoo! not really sure. Yeah, interesting decision. Well, let's see them both get started. Both actually using the same kick to the right Lakitu skip setup, and both landing it nice and clean and easy. Yeah, Blue Bob, kind of what we expected in chat, uh, saying that he's just used to the 120 tech scrolling. JP, like, you have to scroll a little slower, and if you're trying to switch back to US, you'll end up probably losing frames on each text box, just from not scrolling it quite as fast as you could. Yeah, that's true. We aren't going to see any island hop, which is, I would say, a good idea, but both of them getting a nice bomb to the blue bob with a big bomb, saving just a little bit of time, going to be ahead by about two seconds. I assume they're both going to go for the slide. If you got any guesses, you can throw them in the chat now. I'm going to say maybe Blue Bob and then knock down a 12-7, cheese 12-6. Might have some high hopes today. We'll see. Let's see, I'm going to reverse that. I think Blue Bob is going to be the one with the 12-6, but cheese 12-7, I think, is going to be in his future. All right. And let's see. The turnaround is good. Let's see the angle on this jump. We have a little bit to the right. Yeah, Cheese uh, definitely with a better angle. 13-0 and 12-6. Wow. So let's get getting the Cheese call correctly. Wait. Oh, no, no, I got it. So I'm throwing some shade. But yeah, I overestimated Blue Bob. Not quite breaking the 13 barrier. A little bit of an unfortunate time loss. As you can see, they are now synced up due to that little minor slide deviance. Frame perfect into bombs. All right, let's see if they go for Hunter Coin first or if they want to start off with like Cannonless or something like that. I feel going like it's four Cannonless. No, Alice yeah, Blue Bob for Alice first. first. Missing fence tip. Going around by the Piranha. This looks pretty good. Making it in. Nice little fence pop. And so both getting their respective stars. Let's see if they're going to just switch or if they're going to just go right into 100 coin now. It's interesting seeing the thought process behind routing this stage as far as if you want to just get the two quick and somewhat like undependable stars out of the way first. Or if you're going to do like what Blue Bob's doing here, just doing the 100 coin second after you get your most inconsistent star out of the way. Yeah, for sure. She's not liking his setup. He's gonna take a little bit of time just to make sure he gets it, but he does get it first try still. So definitely still saving time. Blue Bob, Blue not Bob. sure about the cycle. Yeah, he's just gonna convert to a half at this point. That's smart. 
Yeah, that missed ball kick does unfortunately mean you lose the entire cycle. But he is going to be able to get a normal half cycle, so only going to be losing like 7-ish seconds. Uh, that's still a lot of time to lose against Cheese. He is very good in Womps. We'll see if he can either pull ahead, or if maybe he'll make a mistake later on in Blue Bob. Won't be so far behind. And overall, like, it's not something to be too caught up over. But Cheese is going to get onto this cycle pretty smoothly. Yeah, what is nice is Blue Bob was able to pick up those extra coins while he was still getting the half cycle, so... Not having to pick up quite as many coins on the very end. Here we go! But she's having a very nice 100 coin. Definitely saving a pretty significant chunk of time over Blue Bob. Yeah, very smart movement on the islands as well. Not giving him... Or pretty much not losing, losing any time just to movement. Very clean ending as well. Very, like, pretty much a perfect 100. So Blue Bob is going to have his work cut out for him. Hopefully he gets Canonless here. Going to be going for Texture. Always a little bit up in the air. But he's going to land it. Very nice. According to Blue Bob, Texture setup is easier than full setup. I tend to agree, but that's kind of a minority opinion. I feel like it's easier if you're really good at controlling Mario going slowly. Yeah, I would say, like, for cheese on a hori it's probably like a lot harder definitely nice wild blues from both players now we're gonna get into some hot womp fight action Both of them pretty much identical movement getting up here. And like you can tell that Blue Bob, you know, even though he doesn't have 47, for example, like his movement is still like pretty much as good on a lot of these stars. You'll see him. You know, he and Cheese just doing the same thing. Very nice optimal pounds on both sides, leaving almost no room for error. If they were just a few frames earlier, they would have pounded through the wall. Blue Bob's only down by like four, so not very much at all. Let's see how top of the fortress goes. This can sometimes give people a little bit of trouble. Yeah, this is looking like a great bombs for Cheese. He's gonna be out with like a 640. Well, like slow in the 640. Oh, he's going for the nice. double jump ledge grab. And Blue Bob very just had a triple jump movement, but super hype. I don't know how you get a 644 Womps without, like, a decent Womps on you. Like, he missed, the whole, like, a whole half cycle, and he got a 644. So that, like, kind of surprises me. I don't know how good everything else was, but it must have been, like, really, really good. Jeez, he's got, like, a 641. Well, let's see. I think Blue Bob's going to improve to a 12.9. She's stay at 12.6. I'm going to do my original guess. Oh, cheese 12-6. Okay. Oh, Blue, Blue Bob. Bob with a bonk. Letting us down. 14-2. Oh, man. I, I should have guessed 12-4. Then I could have said that I just got the numbers in the wrong order. Onto the flying section now. And she is almost certainly going to save even more time here. Just due to excellent flying. Let's see how it ends up. Nice first two turns there. Blue Bob, Blue Bob missing the first two coins. First. Beautiful flying from Cheese. And I'm sure he's going to do the button roll out here. Yep. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff there. And Blue Bob missed another coin. Wow. Okay, going to be another like five plus seconds in the bank for Cheese. Even though Blue Bob it was pretty close out of Womps, you never know oh. what can happen. Yeah. And Blue Ball was probably going for the button rollout, but just a little bit too low, so he just bonked on the button. Yeah, that's definitely how it went. Oh, yeah, she's entering Dark World. Let's see how this ends up going for him. Oh, oh having to take a ledge grab. This will be pretty tight for Shake. All right, let's see. He's gonna be over triple jumping. Okay, I think he's still fine. 
Blue Bob will have very comfy shape here, though, if he doesn't make the same mistake. Oh, yeah, cheese got the cooperating, nice. Have you seen the recent movement for the seventh red coin? I think so, yeah, where you do that, like, side flip awning wall kick. Yeah, exactly. That is, oh, I, I saw the uh, the Lunar Jump single star record with it. That was insane. It's just crazy how, like, we found that in 2020 after people have been doing 16 star for God knows how many years. It's such a small optimization, but, like, it, it is really oh, cool. it's so tight. Now she's going to get a perfect Dark World, relatively speaking. And then Blue Bob not going to be far behind. Now the player's going to be moving into Sky Jump. Like you said, not too, too far apart. This is not a bad position for Blue Bob right now. Cheese is certainly no stranger to making mistakes in the later game. But Blue Bob does certainly have a chance to catch up, but... It's going to be all about how much this small deficit has gotten into his head at this point. He needs to be able to just say, like, I, I have to play well if I want a chance at success. I, I can't let my previous losses get in my head. We'll see how well he's able to say that. Geez, a little bit of dust on that first roll there. He's got the cap fine now. And a nice jump. Blue Bob with a near identical jump up there. Looks like he went a little bit higher on the hill, getting a little bit more speed. Both perfect sky jumps. As both players now gonna move into CCM, almost certainly gonna be going for the CCM 17 route, so not messing at all with the penguin. Could potentially see CCM 18 though, depending on how other player is feeling at the moment. Cheese starting out with wall kicks will work. I think he's like the only runner that actually, or one of the very few runners that does that dead on camera for wall kicks. Like I, I, I personally don't understand how it works that well. I, I, I prefer the like left hand camera angle that's much more common to see. Blue Bob using the text box on the penguin instead of wall kicks, just for that extra bit of safety. And Cheese taking care of the penguin himself. And interesting little thing about the JP version, the penguin star spawns above the penguin mom's head, so you have to jump at it a little bit differently. In the American version, it's spawned like a little bit away from the pond, so you have to like run and jump towards it. Uh, Silky, if you're talking about the blue coin strat, it's, it's still not faster. Oh, Blue Bob taking a bonk there, but still able to get up pretty fast. Nice double jump tech there. A little bit too far like in to uh, actually reach the star though unfortunately as she's going to be headed down the slide with his slide skip so he's actually going to be going for ccm 18 not messing around with double plus but let's see blue bob also going to be opting to do the same so no double plus um i don't know if this is a factor but they are going to be avoiding sound glitch and ssl then which will be nice but um I mean, I, I, I think more than anything, they just really don't want to mess with double plus potentially impacting the run. But we'll see how the penguin race in 100 coin goes. We have seen issues before, and I believe Blue Bob's race last week actually he had an issue with 100 coin. Does he do the new penguin or like kind of the side skip? Um, I haven't actually seen him do it. I, I'm not I'm not sure. He, he might. She's that nice jump dive. Yeah, that jump jump dive is kind of risky because if you miss a coin, then you have to have a perfect slide, and that's always like kind of dangerous in a race. I, at least in my opinion. And so Blue Bob isn't yeah. doing the blue coin strat. Okay. Yeah, tried and true. I'm not like surprised, but I was just wondering. Yeah. But yeah, also like pretty recently, um, Ark put out a video showing like how the penguin behaves. There's like actually a few things you can do to make sure that he doesn't reach his like final speed cap before. Like you can delay that as long as possible to make him go faster. 
and there can be a difference by like over like a second and a half if you do it like well versus poorly. I didn't I didn't know that. Wow. That's one of the wild. big things is like like when you go around the the bend after the jump with like all the like the five coin row by the shortcut, you can let the penguin pass you, but you really don't want to let him do that because once he does, he slows down. Oh no, blue bomb! Oh Freaking boy! What? Right at the what end. What is that? And Just it take a moment to compose himself. Clear to the right. That's like a ZFG NA aim emote. I might have to have a laugh at Blue Bob's expense for that one. I know he's probably triggered, but hopefully he just laughs it off. Because that's just like a swing and a miss. <laughs> that is the... And the ball hits you in the face. He, he's going for the blue coin switch now. Having a little bit of an issue pounding it, but he's getting through now. Let's see how slide skipper out goes. The triple jump and the dive right into the chimney and let's let's see the slide skip. And Mario came here for the side skip. There he goes. So nailing it. Nicely executed. He had plenty of room there. I don't see anyone else do Mario came, but I know that's like how Ark did it in like his tasks. I don't think it matters, but it's kind of cool. All right, Blue Bob, we're gonna be having a hopefully better time grabbing the star here. Okay. Yay! No death. No death here. As she is now done with BBH. Bathroom. Yeah, she's way ahead now. She's some interesting movement down that hallway. Not not sure what was going on there. Yeah, he got very confused, it looked like. But we do have to see about Pillowless because if he isn't on his game, he could end up losing a lot of time. Maybe not enough for Blue Bob to catch up right here, but it could be the start of a comeback. But don't call it a comeback, just saying. It could happen. And a swing and a miss, and she's not jumping with the throw on the bomb. So we're gonna have to just go for an alt star and almost diving into the quicksand there, but having to just slow way down. Doesn't really matter though, since he's having to wait for Tal on the way. Sketchy. Can you make it? Okay. No! Oh, barely! All right, that's the beginning of the end. So what happened there was when he was kicking up the pyramid, he hit the bird from like pretty far back. So like when he went over the pyramid top, I like I think he hit something that. Oh no, there's another wow. death. Wow, just in getting the sucked stand. down during Tama. Commentator is explicitly cursing this one. Absolute voodoo magic. There's there's something fishy going on in the back room. What even was that? Okay. That was like the fastest Tama I've ever seen. I don't think that was fully intentional. Wow. He just peeled out off that sand hill. Well, I gotta like check the tapes one sec. Blue Bob much closer than before, though. That mistake definitely not fatal anymore. The run has been resurrected from the dead. And she's finally able to get the Talon Star. Finishing up SSL just has one more star left. Yeah, but if not for that Blue Bob mistake, he'd be so far in the lead, we'd all be like talking about how Blue Bob has a good chance to win. Yeah. Blue Bob first try Tama though, very nice. Saving significant time over cheese, locked in. Here we go. 
So now she's moving on to LOL. Blue Bob, just with two more stars left to grab here. Yeah, the nature of that death was just so massive. Like, even if Cheese loses, like, another minute, he'll still be in the lead, almost. Oh, hey, she's Mr. missing Red, a coin back there. Back. There's a lot of red in this stage. It's not easy to tell that he missed a coin, but yeah, he had to go back. This is like probably the most forgiving star in the game. Like you really can't lose more than maybe 10 seconds unless you just really veer off course on your first jumps and just die. Yeah, you can get like stuck in the maze, which is kind of funny when it happens to someone else, but not when it happens to you. Yeah. Oh, she's missing the triple jump there. Gonna be wasting a fair bit of time getting on top of that arch again. But he makes it work second try around. Yeah, this is like spaghetti sauce land out here. No one's actually having a good time. This is ragu land. Looks like a brand of marinara sauce. Uh... I mean, I mean, there's like ragu pasta sauce. Um, okay, yeah. What is, what is, there's another one. Like, why can't I think of the name? Prego? Maybe. Yeah, that, that, that's one too, I think. There's a few more, I think. She's getting the big bully star. Blue Bob just behind. Nice triple bully kill from Blue Bob. Oh, she's not getting a long jump out there, so wasting a lot of his health getting over to this island. This is very dangerous. He's down to two health and he needs to get this long jump right now. Okay. Okay. Like, if he did what he did last time where he missed the long jump on the, the flame shooter, he wouldn't have had enough health to burn before getting the blue top one. And getting bodied again, one health now. What a weird lethal lava land. Just basement overall. Not going well for cheese. Okay, let's see Blue Bob's lava boost here. Long jump boost. And it's clean. Nice. Very smoothly executed. Uh, good to see that. Hopefully Blue, Blue Bob can keep playing steadily, steadily and make this one competitive again. Who knows? It'd be a legendary comeback just to think that you came back from like a minute and a half to sit against cheese right oh she's failing lava boost here not taking a death though i think don't call it a comeback but i think i'm just jinxing this entire run <laughs> so doing elevator tour instead Saint. gsa Saint. oh, falling oh all my god down. are you kidding me how could the star count like... is even anything else going on in this basement like, out of all the things like all of them happened at once i don't know how this is going on so she's going for lava boost does get it this time around goes for pro ending nice yeah great ending for sure but like this is nuts i don't know if i've ever seen cheese lose so much time in basement hopefully he like doesn't tilt he looks like pretty relaxed but knowing cheese like he can just like snap and like you know get into shouting and fist slam mode yeah it can happen to anyone honestly so now blue bob just has to deal with red hot log rolling well cheese hopefully has a better time with elevator tour this time i think blue bob is actually ahead now just barely, but Blue Bob does have himself a lead going on into DDD. That is ridiculous. In two, like between CSIM and BBH, he made up a minute and a half. <laughs> I mean, she or, just had sorry, that CSIM. much of an issue oh, with wow. Pillarless and then Lava Boost. I mean, that, that Lava Boost death was just devastating. Yeah, like the like, especially I would say like the longest death was the one where he tried to back up Pless with talons and then died in the quicksand. Like that was a really long death. Yeah. So now moving on into chests. Let's see what's going on here. Move on, nice first grab there. Now there is a chance that Cheese can make up this time just with better movement and swimming. Like 
For example, going for front sub, or just like with cleaner fire C endings and stuff, he can maybe get back in the lead by upstairs even without Blue Bob making any mistakes. But we'll have to see how this one goes. Like I said, Blue Bob is no slouch, and if he hasn't really made any other mistakes in the run besides the Penguin, then maybe he can just like put on some Hall of Fame level defense to stop Cheese from catching up. Yeah, I mean it. We'll just have to see what happens ultimately because I think it's all up to what Blue Bob decides to do from here on out. It looks like he's going to be committing to rear sub here, so I, I think we're going to be seeing a lot of very consistent play from Blue Bob trying to just hold on to this lead. Like you said, trying to play that really nice defense. Yeah, I would hope so. But if he's not looking at the stream, he probably thinks that he's still a minute behind at least and needs to catch up, so you never know. Right. She's headed for front sub, though. Oh, sliding on down. Front sub. Gonna be losing more time now. Just some missed inputs here. Interesting. It, it's interesting to see because in Break the Record Live, which just happened, like, these are, like, probably a lot of the easier stars in these stages. Maybe just, like, a bit of, like, post-event fallout. Like, you know, you have to, like, shake things out a little bit coming back home i could see an argument for things like that happening blue bob yeah. getting the manta but he missed the first ring so kind of got bailed out yeah losing a little bit of time there it's it's really costly to miss any kind of ring there that's that's one that you just need to grind out even though it's not that fun or that important of a star grand scheme like you need to just grind it out so you don't lose a ton of time but now blue bob in fire c Let's see if he's able to hit Lava Boost and give Cheese a lot to answer for. And Cheese still, like, goes for the old movement sometimes. So, like, I would I would hope he learns. Okay, yeah. I don't know why. Sometimes he does the new movement, sometimes he does the old. It doesn't really make sense to me. Maybe he's just been doing movement lately and I haven't noticed. But, yeah. Blue Bob still in the lead. Gonna get Lava Boost. Hopefully Cheese gets it as well. I like to see them both play well in Pyre C here. But I think they're Very both going nice to get it. She's Bob. barely on pace. No, he's not going to get it. Nah, that's not going to happen. Oh, denied. Wow. Let's so a normal early cycle will still be about 10 seconds slower. Maybe not quite 10, but like 8. So Blue Bob extending that lead. Wow. Blue Bob just saving tons of time throughout Fire Sea now and DDD at this point. And he's not even doing that much out of the ordinary. He's just, he's getting Lava Boost like he's been practiced, I'm sure, so many hours to do. He's gotten rear sub, not trying to go for any fancy strat, and she's just losing time on a, a lot of small things, but it's certainly adding up. Yeah, somehow Blue Bulb has actually extended his lead and they're looking kind of comfy coming out of Fire Seek. He dropped a Pepe Comfy in the chat, so. I think he's feeling pretty good. She's having kind of a weird Bowser grab too. Wasting a little bit of time there. A seal, that's exactly what I'm just used to that tech scrolling from 120. All right, Blue Bob heading on up to Wet Dry World. She's going to be heading up in just a moment. So upstairs, going to start a whole new phase of the run. Starting with Wet Dry World, a big source of RNG. I, I, I'm i really hoping that both of these guys get really nice RNG and that that's not going to end up having a major impact on the run. Let, let's see what types of strats Blue Bob goes for, though. Looks like he's going to be setting up for the double box break. He got he the first, first one. one. Now, he needed that coin. Not going to be able to skip anymore. So hopefully RNG treats him well. Cheese hunting by Dry World, we'll have to see. He could actually jump down for this coin if he really wanted to, but I would not recommend it. Yeah, not while the blue coins are spawned. He, he's definitely committing to going without it. So not gonna go for the speed kick jump there. Doesn't save very much time, but it does allow you to grab the coins in midair. And we'll see how he handles this amp up here. Moving with the amp, making sure that he's not going to give the amp an opportunity to shock him at the expense of the side flip being a little bit weird. And she's actually getting started with other stars besides 100 coin. Yeah. 
Yeah, she's going for the triple zone wall kicks here, resetting that, and also getting uh, oh. onto that slope part if you can see the difference. Oh yeah, Blue Bob messing up as well. Big fall there. Yeah. Okay. Chuck yeah for Blue Bob. Now what happened to Jesus? It doesn't look like much, but on that big round, the curved slope, there's a point where it goes from a slope you can do a jump kick on to a slope that's steep and you can only like jump and dive on. So he hit that and like that ruined his triple jump. So he had to reset it, lost like a good bit of time. Oh, I see. Oh, uh, she's doing 100, lost one coin, but went and got it back. Hopefully he can just keep on a steady pace and get all the coins here. Yeah, that was but, a know. really weird starting angle. I, I want, like, is, is that the type oh. of angle you would start with for the uh, 120 coin? 120? Um, I actually didn't see what Cheese did, but normally you just like face the Skeeter kind of and then go right at the blue switch after you hit him. So yeah, that yeah, was that, that was, was the way his camera yeah. was faced, so. Yeah, I that's mean, probably just used happened. to doing it with reds. Having a little bit of trouble with that triple jump too. Definitely a lot messier than blue bobs overall. Oh, coming back up here, it's gonna be interesting to see how much lead difference there is after, because Bluebo has this and one more, I think, top of the town. The Cheese will just do this one, then shocking air lifts. So we'll see, because I'm pretty sure Cheese is making up time. Oh no, oh, Cheese falling down off the plane. Diving right off the. Okay. And, He's okay, just the, going right over to the back of the back. jump point. I would say this is not the best idea because you have to do this other triple jump dive. It's unlike what Jar World Secrets on its own in that respect. Well, you can actually go and do like a long jump to this, I don't know, big block with the coins on it and it's not as slow by far. So Cheese now a star behind, we am going to be moving on to THI. This is this is a very significant lead for Blue Bob that he's been maintaining now through Wet Dry World. Now let's hope that what is even happening with Cheese? Very weird mistake. They're running right into the wall. Blue Bob, good lag reduction on the third secret coming around. Very nice clip in the mountain. As Cheese finishes up, we're gonna see Blue Bob be about 30 seconds ahead. It's a really significant lead. Um, for it's Dan Nuglis, something, um, just the fastest stars to get, it kind of comes out to about 30 seconds. If it's faster than 30 seconds, it's fast enough for 70 star. And we just kind of do however many stage stars in each stage that fit the bill. The only exception is that there's like a couple in Jolly Roger Bay that are faster, but it's longer to actually go to that stage and open the door. So we don't do it. She's having a little bit of an awkward secret, and Blue Bob having a pretty all right uh, top of the island star. Now moving on to Piranhas. She's still at one star behind. Now I'm sure TTM is probably on Blue Bob's mind at this point. Like that, that's going to be a, a very early deciding point here, whether he's able to execute all the strats there and maintain this lead, or if he's going to lose some time to various things. Yeah, one interesting thing about Blue Bob, like, maybe a bit of an idiosyncrasy, I don't know. But I think he kind of strangely struggles with Mountain Clip, and I don't really know why. What even? I, I don't understand why, but she just went in the pipe, like, twice. And I have no had to idea. come back out again in order to go to this island. Very odd. Yeah, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. But, hey, hopefully... He, I, I keep saying hopefully, like I know he knows what he needs to do, it just needs to, to happen and to not get more tilted. So like I think he's in a fine position, but it really is up to Blue Bob in Tall Tom Mountain and like in the rest of the game, if he can really hold down the fort with his consistent gameplay. But yeah, Mountain Pit first time is good. Let's see how he can handle the log wall kick. Nice. Yeah, very clean for Blue Bob. Really optimal rollout on the top of the slope. Not gonna be instant ledge grab. That's kind of difficult though. 
So I would say all in all very solid. I think he's very confident, hopefully, that he doesn't need to do anything crazy. But Cheese knows that he can come back with good gameplay. All right, second mountain clip from Blue Blob, and it's good, two for two, nice. Log wall kick coming up. It, not log wall kick coming up, having to just move right on out of the way due to the fly guy spawn. Fly guy RNG is the worst kind of RNG. Oh, narrowly saving himself after not quite getting the side flip like he thought. And she's missing a mountain clip. Gonna go for just the eyeballed setup mountain clip instead. It does work out, so he's able to get up there relatively quickly. And the log wall kick still works. Okay. If it works, nice. it works. Yeah. Blue Bob with reds now. All right, nicely done from Blue Bomb. Cheese goes ahead and moves on up for the second Mountain Clip Star. So just looking at the star counts, Blue Bob is about to be two stars ahead. It's kind of like one and a half. I would give it about 40 seconds. We'll have to see at the end of the stage, because of course they've done different stars so far. She's not going for Breezeless. Oh, we almost ran off the edge. Well, he did run off the edge. And then he fell off the edge oh! again! Are you kidding me? What? That is Ow. some Mario meltdown. Like, he, first of all, ran off the edge. The Breeze picked him up. Then he tried to pull out of the Breeze too quickly, and then didn't make it up on the ledge. After which he fell all the way down. The Breeze cannot take it up. And then gets Breezeless this time. And yeah. A nice fake sync between our players. Somehow Breeze is the easy option. All right, Blue Bob moving on the snowman's land. Yeah, this is some completely melted cheese right now. This is definitely fondue, or like this is Grilled like concession material. stand queso. That's a good metaphor. You know, Blue Bob in Summon's Land, cold as ice, apparently. Getting no right to the top of the matter. Air. Now let's see this jump over the hill for Whirl from the Freezing Pond. The double speed kick strat here. She's going for the dive rollout on the reds here. Let's I do like that he still walking. wants to... Oh yeah. Nice. I do like that he wants to pop off here, like he's not afraid of going for everything. Sometimes it can be like a tilt strat, like you go way too hard. But I think this is just he saying, I'm still good at this video game, you know, I can play confidently. So I really like to see those reds come out. Yeah, that's, if nothing else, that is a confidence booster for sure. All right, she's going for top of Snowman's head as well. Blue Bob almost done with the whole stage though. Just gotta I jump agree. into the deep freeze real quick. Oh, dive instead of a speed kick, but doing a recall kick here. Pretty good oh, backup, but that's also a kind of side effect of having low speed. You don't have as much time to triple jump or like jump dive out of the triple jump. I don't know why, but yeah, that really sucks. A five second star, you lose five seconds, doesn't feel good. Right. Especially when it's to something like a, a missed speed kick. And I, I'm pretty sure that was just because he was trying to go for the double jump strat there, which, like, <laughs> it's so unnecessary. Yeah. I think if Blue Bob didn't have the penguin race thing, he would be on PB pace. We'll have to see when he gets up to Tippy. But, like, if you say that Penguin Race death was like a minute and a half, which I'm sure it was, then that means like whatever time he exits HMC with will be a minute and a half worse than what he could have gotten if he just hit the star. 
Because, like, I don't think that's a mistake that happens every day or, like, ever. Right. And move up his PB is still a mid 48, so like I know he can improve it. Cheese chilling with the bully as Blue Bob grabs that HMC star. Going right on into the stage after talking with Todd. Let's we'll see what he decides to do first. Probably triple box jump. Nicely executed first try. We have cheese down here now it's gonna be a battle to see when they get up to tippy and then of course tippy itself is gonna be the main title fight of the night so blue bob is still looking very strong like i don't think he's really had much other than deep freeze and maybe like i think one of the ttm stars was not great i forget what but like so far like a solid upstairs he didn't end up getting a uh, breezeless but that, that's not a big thing. He didn't even like fully go for it. He just, I, I think the triple jump didn't come out, so he just aborted it entirely. Yeah. A nice Christmas miracle. Just two more stars left and then going right on up to Tippy. Jeez, taking a big old bonk though. He's gotta get out of this. Okay. Oh my very, God, the ground pound. He's just taken a, a moment to meditate on his life choices that have led to this moment. Like, I like this is kind of the equivalent of someone rage pausing, but he didn't pause. He just, like, blinked at the screen for, like, I just saw it on his face. He's like, excuse me. Right. Still better than rage pausing, though, it has to be said. Yeah. Blue Bob going for Rolling Rock. Uh, the boulder's not quite cooperating with their RNG. Cheese with amazing emergency exit. Is Blue Bob about to make his way on up to Tippy? Let's see if he can hold it together for just a few more stars. 12 to be exact. You can definitely get like a pretty low 50, maybe high 49 with a good tippy. So this would maybe not be PB pace, but like mid 48 without the penguin death. Yeah. Let's see what he's doing with a lot of tippy here. Going on into Rainbow Ride. Let's see his black at two bounce. I, I forget exactly which one he decides to go for most of the time. Probably a turnaround. Oh, nope, the side flip. And a pretty quick bottom of the pole grab there. The wall kick nice strap. Wall. Nice. Pretty clean execution. Very nice. Yeah, Blue Bob did come to play today. He's not really giving Cheese any slack. Let's see what he decides to go for next. Looks like it's gonna be red coins. Meanwhile, Cheese is on his last, or he is coming up to Tippy now. Exiting the core is gonna be coming upstairs. One last time. Blue Bob in the coin maze ring for the instant jump dive. Pretty nice movement there. Missing the red, he's got to go back and do a wall. That's a pretty good backup. Yeah, right, Cheese entering the door. Alright, lag two bounce for cheese going for that left side wall kick there. Yeah, and the dead oh, on side flip. Not getting the wall kick though. Oh man. Blue Bob with left side tricky triangles here. Beautifully executed. Yeah, right coins back up for cheese. Looking crisp, but still a massive time loss. Not massive, but like a medium sized time loss that he really can't afford in Tippy. He does have to rely now on Blue Bob making some kind of death or mistake. By Tippy, we mean the top couple stages here. 
this floor that we're on, you can see Cheese right now. It has this stage, Rainbow Ride, TikTok Clock, the Cloud stage on the other side, and finally Bowser in the Sky. So that little group makes up Tippy. Cheese, round two with Lakitu Bounce here as Blue Bob finishes out Rainbow Ride. Gonna be moving on to the clock. Having to go way out into left field and then missing the second jump there. You can see the frustration mounting. And then missing the long jump there. This is a heartbreaking run where nothing is going right. Luckily he made that. I thought he was gonna bomb for sure. Alright. Oh, oh no! That was actually a nice looking back up there because they didn't really think he was actually gonna get that long jump off. Let's see here. Oh, oh no. so close. might be coffin for the undefeated cheese. Blue Bob is playing super nicely alongside that safety red. I'm sure they'll both have quite a bit to say about what what went wrong in this run. But a Blue Bob at least you can say it was one mistake that was quite an outlier. Cheese is like, hold on, I just got a 138, what happened? Now I'm dying and failing like bounce like five times in a row. I don't know what's going on, fellas. Oh, that's not an angle. Oh, okay. The fly guy saving his life, potentially. I wonder if maybe, like, a, a controller thing. Perhaps. Not looking for scapegoat, per se, but, like, it could be. Yeah, it, it feels like there's something going on. Here we go. Blue Bob done with 100 coin. Just chugging on through TTC. And the first of his three time moving triples works out very nicely. And oh, but falling down. Okay. He's still alive though, didn't fall through the cracks. Yeah, I like Cheese who has seemed to have massive falls, every little mistake, it's been unforgiving. But finally getting that cruiser crossing the rainbow star. And so we can at least put that behind him. Focus on TikTok clock here. Where he's got the right reds left, I guess. No. Triangles. Nice left side though that time. Yeah, really good long jump ledge grab. And good movement inside the triangle maze. Blue oh, Bob, what's meanwhile, the play here, Blue the Bob? I, I he, think... could not, he could actually get this. No. If he could land a double jump on the flat part, like on like the very side of it, he could have made it. But like, that's a very hard backup to do. Right. It's now Blue Bob being forced to get a hand with that lower route there. Jeez, nice double jump, ledge grab, skip for time limits on moving bars. This is a very impressive start when it's done well. So I think Cheese is like a pretty good person to watch for it. Yeah, that's the star that really deserves to be called Roll Into The Cage because like that's the one that you're actually rolling into a cage. That is very true. I, could, I actually could not agree more. And nice pit and pendulums coming out from Blue Bob. He's having a little bit of an issue with that red, but it didn't fall all the way down, which is nice. Yeah, he's kind of saving TTC 100 for after the other time stops. Kind of just a personal preference thing, but it is worth noting that Blue Bob, you know, he's already done it. He's going to have to do that whole thing still. And of course, the time moving. So Blue Bob, once he gets this star, he's going to be done. And he's going to be going up to Sky, trying to get a 50. Having a lot of trouble just making his way up. Yeah, but if he gets up to the, the platform. Star. I'm sure the nerves are mounting. He's he's definitely realized what's at stake here. Yeah. 
very nicely executed TTC 100 from Cheese so far. This is. Well, it blew up in the Toad first. So this is going to be Reds to finish it up. Jeez, finally done with 100 coin. This is going to be a really long road to climb back from. I don't really see him winning, but it is still a matter of points. Every 10 seconds you lose by, the winner gets another coin. So it's in Cheese's best interest to finish as soon as possible, no matter what happens. And squashed by the Thwomp. Insult to injury and broken bones. Yup. Now, Blue Bob, a few dumb dives away from the final stage of the game. Let's see how he's able to execute here and capitalize on this really nice, near inevitable win over one of the top players of this game and especially in this league. I'm taking a little bit of a bonk there, that's okay. And the burn is still fine. Nice recovery there. No big deal. Okay. Yeah, Sky can be sketchy. He just needs to get up to the top. And if he is indeed, or if he was indeed watching this one live, he would know that he has lots of time to play with. If not, he'd probably think Cheese was already done. Oh. The missing moving website cannot be a good addition to this Sky. Cheese going for some bomb shenanigans and then bonking. I think his heart's not really in this anymore. You can't really blame him. But Blue Bob does just need to finish this one up as soon as possible. It's going to be a 51, so definitely not his best race time. Okay, finally getting up to this upper platform. Let's see the elevator movement here. Nice attentiveness there, stopping for the kick. Getting the ledge grab and then just going right through the wind. All right, let's see Blue Bob's throws. She's taking another unfortunate death. Blue Bob dedicates these throws to Shy. Just kidding. Shy going. Yep. Oh, she's getting crushed there. It's such a oh, weird Blue run. Bob with a miss throw. For, for cheese. Like, I, I don't really know how to explain it, but it is just kind of a, a mental battle, I would say. And you, you get one of those. Like, everyone gets one of those days as a write off. Bob, one more throw to close out this win against Cheese, and that'll do it for this race. It's Blue gonna Bob. be a 51, but still beating Cheese. So we're gonna Blue Bob and Punk be the only 4-0 players left in the league after four weeks of competition. Huge congrats, GGs, to Blue Bob and Punk a for that feat. Like already, that is one of his awesome. life. Okay, now Cheese gonna be talking to Toad himself and making his own way up to bits. Can still get a few points, actually. Like, um, I, I think he can definitely still come within three minutes, if not three and a half for sure. But let's see it happen here. Yeah. Here referring to Blue Bob in chat, like his upstairs was quite good and like Oh, she's the... taking a bonk. Wow, that's rough. Alright. Everyone in chat be nice, okay. Oh, the amp there. That speed kick, okay. She's starting to feel himself a little bit better. Moving right side, oh, okay. Nice. Very clean. Blue Bob would like to thank his sponsors for the um, incredible performance enhancing things that he definitely did not take. But yeah, shoutouts to Cheese for finishing. I'm sure like he'll be back, obviously, like getting a 138 live and then coming back to do a 70 race probably feels like, you know, like you're off the high from that huge event. So whatever. 
but we move on and hopefully he can still have a good season and make playoffs i wouldn't put much stock in this at all like there's really like no correlation between this and like his regular performance so we'll just take it for one race that's all it is and blue bob gonna keep his four and oh and i'm sure he'll have many good races in the future because like he said that was like a good 48 pace run without the penguin death so yeah you know, uh, a nice race between these two guys and GG's to Blue Bob for taking the win and like you said to G's for finishing don't go anywhere folks we've got one final Mario matchup for the night and that'll be Woco versus D whatever coming up in just a few minutes but for now I'm electric joined by Padronis in the booth thanks for, so much for joining me in the booth it's been awesome man same here adios see y'all in a little bit they are synced. They are synced now. <laughs> Do whatever. In the lead again. Wow. Side for sure from Cheese. Okay, doing it. Moving. Oh, oh no, it's Cheese Ball! Oh,